Hey guys, it's been a while. <laughs> I'm ready to make a hair tutorial slash get ready with me right now. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna do my hair and my makeup and I'm gonna do mask before I do any of that. So um, if you're interested in that, then keep on watching. So my face is freshly washed. I'm gonna go in with this rejuvenating mask from EVO Skin. I just recently tried this. I've used this probably four or five times since I got it. I just think it's bomb. And what's cool about this mask is that it has cannabis sativa seed oil. I'm gonna do a pretty thick layer because why not? It smells really good too. It's almost like a lotion, but kind of like a jelly lotion, but it really just like absorbs into your skin. The first time I tried it, it just felt so good. My skin looked awesome after I used it. All right, she's massaged in. Let's do our hair. So I always use a wet brush because my hair kind of normally gets pretty tangly no matter what. The bristles are more gentle on your ends than most of brushes. Pretty much gonna use this for the rest of my life. <laughs> How I normally do my hair most of the time whenever I want it to look done, but it's like the easy hairstyle is I just like straighten it. I have been doing this thing where I kind of sleep everything down and I don't really put too much volume into it. First things first, I'm gonna spray some heat protectant in my hair. This is L'Oreal Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. And I always dry the root first. I find it a lot easier and less damaging on your ends because uh, of the heat. <laughs> my part is kind of off to the side normally, but I just want it to look sweet. This piece is going to concentrate the airflow and it's going to make my hair already kind of start to get styled without me having to go in with a straightener, but I'm still going to go in with a straightener. I forgot to say my blow dryer is a nano titanium babyliss or babyliss pro hair dryer. I got this in hair school actually and it's lasted a couple years and I like it. I think it's really good. <laughs> Done. Now we just gotta straighten it. <laughs> I'm gonna be using my Duval Desire Series Styling Iron. This is a new tool to my collection and I'm actually pretty impressed with it. I've used it for a little over a month instead of my regular Babyliss, Babyliss iron. This Duval iron is really pretty. It feels heavy, it feels like a good quality iron and I like the ceramic plates. They have like that beveled edge so you're not like pulling on hair. And you can also do a lot more styles with that edge like that. It has a little on and off switch and then there's a little knob where you can control the temperature and it goes up to 450 degrees. First things first, section your hair off. I know it's ready because this has a orange light when it's heating up and it turns green to let you know it's fully at that temperature. What I do is I comb the back, split it in half, and kind of lock the comb in a section. And then I take the straightener in my dominant hand and pull down. Comb before the straightener. The professional way is really to use the comb. You just have to get used to holding both at the same time. The straighter that you have, I mean, oh my gosh, I hope this is pretty straight, but the straighter that you have the parting, the easier it's gonna be to get up and close to the root with the straightener. And you just work your way around. I think my hair is pretty much all the way straight. If it's not, it's okay. I'm going to be using my Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Renewal Oil. Very lightly, like creepy fingers go through. So you're not depositing too much oil where you don't want it. I know that my ends need it to kind of help the shine down there because it tends to get really dry and dull. I try not to put oil in my hair before I start straightening it. I like to do it after because I personally feel like it like cooks your hair. This hair straightener works really, really good. I'll definitely be using this as like my daily right now for sure. Really good quality and I'm hoping it's gonna last me for a long time because I like it. So I'm gonna move on and wash this stuff off my face and then I'll put some makeup on. The first thing I'm gonna start out with is my Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. I'm going to be using this Sephora Hyaluronic Acid Super Hydration Moisturizer. My face is already feeling very like supple and moisturized because of the mask I just did. 
but we're gonna put a little bit of this on anyways because my skin right now is kind of dry. I'm gonna get started on my brows but I'm not gonna really film this because I just did a short tutorial on like an eye look and how I do my eyebrows so if you're interested in that you can check that out I'll leave a link below okay so I'm gonna use the blue blood palette I'm just gonna kind of stick to the lighter shades and keep it pretty soft and sweet if you take a bronzer shade here first and then you go and do your eyeshadows it just kind of completes the look and gives you like a more shadowy effect I guess for your crease it looks like it's more blended out too whenever you apply the bronzer to the rest of your face now I'm going into Celebrity Skin in the Blue Blood Palette, and I'm going to put that pretty much in the same place, slightly lower. Okay, I'm going to go into Wealthy from the palette, and I'm just going to pat that all over my lid. going to try to blend Wealthy with Celebrity Skin a little bit. I'll take Celebrity Skin and put it right under my lower lash line. Now I'm taking Cullinan and I'm putting it in my inner corner and under my brow arch. I'm going to use this Physician's Formula Eyeliner. I think these are Kiss Lashes. I don't know. They're old and I don't have the box. <laughs> I'm using L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I'm gonna start with primer and I'm gonna use the Evil Beauty Moisturizing Primer. This feels like a very clean, simple primer and my skin is like tacky now and I think it's ready to roll. For foundation, I am obsessed with the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Full Coverage Moisturizing Foundation. This is in shade medium. I'll pump two pumps on my hand. I really like this because you don't have to sit there and work for your coverage. Look at this. With my fingers. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Bye Bye Full Coverage Concealer from IT Cosmetics also in medium. Now I'm going to put on a little bit of blush. So this is like a blush cream from EVO Beauty. And I'm just going to put it on my cheeks and then kind of blend that out with a sponge back into my contour. This is super blendable. I really like this. Highlight, I'm bringing back an oldie. I still have some Sephora Luminizing Drops in Morning Light. I've recently just been taking it right here and then having that fade into my under brow highlight. I'm taking good old truffle from Fenty Beauty, the matchstick. I'm just warming it up on the back of my hand. And I've been recently, instead of drawing like lines and then trying to go back and like blend out those lines that I created, I've just been like stamping it. That's a lot easier to blend. Okay, now taking my airspun translucent powder, I'll just pack that underneath my eye to set the creams and liquids. But while that's setting, um, I am going to put on this EVO Beauty Hydrating Lip Gloss. And I'll take a big fluffy brush and go back in with my Milani bronzer. I'm also gonna throw on a nude eyeliner, of course. Finish her off with some highlighter and then I'm gonna set and spray. This highlighter is an afterglow. I'm using a little MAC Fix Plus to set my makeup. I 
All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. So if you like the straightener that I used, I actually have a coupon code for you if you are interested. This is gonna save you money on the Desire Series tools or they have a facial spin skincare system. I'll leave it linked down below. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.